loose arm, so we're going to Griffith to drop off a load of scrap and a few throw it on mower. Um, that's just going to be dropped off at the farm. Here's some scrap mowers and computer case and some car batteries and that bins full of cans that's going into the scrap yard. So we'll see what that's worth. Probably not a great deal, but maybe enough to pay for the petrol to go over there. Um, yeah, so let's get on the road and get over there. Okay, so some hours later we're finally back home. I went to see a few people I know and whatnot. Um, got a check for the scrap in the back of the ute for $49 something. I'm not sure when the missus put the check. It's in her wallet somewhere and I'm not going to go looking for it. Um, and went and spent a bucket load of money at Bunnings. For my old computer room, new clotheslines, one out there is rat shit and just general bits and pieces went to Big W as well and got some stuff alright we'll have a quick look at this um, room I've been working on and my trailer I bought the other night also picked up new hitch and tail lamps for that I noticed under the ute on the way home it was getting rather squeaky my well, um, sway bar bushes have come loose for whatever reason yeah they should be fucking tight because when I replaced them I done them up so I couldn't use nylock so I don't know what the go is there, I might put a second nut on. Here's my trailer I bought. Um, bought about a week ago, yeah. Um, needs a little bit of work to put back on the road, but new wiring, new hitch, I bought that today. Um, wheel bearings need replacing or adjustment, and obviously new lights. Bit of a patch in the floor, and I'll put a quick paint job on it, but you can't expect too much for 150 bucks, so. Yeah, it's really well solid made, unlike the new ones, so I think it's a pretty good buy myself. Also found this computer on Monday night, I don't know why I picked it up, because I can't work on computers anywhere anymore. Um, so I'll probably just end up back in a bin somewhere, but um, some sort of AMD Athlon, I haven't even fired it up, I just unloaded it off the ute and left it there. And also got this um, flat screen. I haven't got a power cord for it, made 12 volts at 3 amps or something. I'd suggest it has bad caps in it anyway. But I'll either autopsy it or find a power supply and fix it. Well, this is the progress of my old um, computer room. Um, Bunnings fucked up the paint colour, like. That's. I can't zoom in on it properly. It's the same name on the tin. But. Yeah, so they fucked that up. It is a few, bit thin in a few spots, but it's only going to get ruined anyway by general playtime and that. And I've got a little bit of paint left to patch it up, so... Yeah. Oh, while it's super cheap auto, eh? That's where I got the trailer parts from. Got an oil change for the ute. I'll just get whatever's cheapest at the moment. So, this was $17.99. Because there's no point putting, um... 30 40 dollar bottles of oil into it anymore because it just burns it. Probably, I change it every 5,000, but it probably uses a whole bottle in that 5,000. There's a new hitch for the trailer that will hopefully bolt on because the one on it's a um, two bolt as well. And that's rated to two tons, but I doubt I'll ever tow that with this anyway. And we'll have a look at what's on the other side there. So uh, here's the two lamps I've got, just normal ones, no LEDs because they were about $9 each. LED ones were 40 something each and my stuff cops a flog and I go off road a lot. I um, hang around scrap yards a lot, you know, it's just going to cop a Canaan so just use the cheapies, cheap to replace and yeah. Um, license plate light, I've got an LED one because it's the same price as a normal one for whatever reason. And that should just bolt onto where the old one was. And the flat trailer pin plug. I've got to buy some wire off eBay because it's cheaper there. $45 for a roll at um, Super Cheap, or I think it was about 20 for a roll on eBay, so I'll go to the eBay one, I think. Stuff for my old computer room. Masking tape, that's just to put in the cupboard. Um, I broke the plug on my soldering iron, I trod on the bloody thing, so I bought a new one of those. Decent HPM one. Letters and cutouts for the door because we've done that on the, her other bedroom, but that's going to be the new baby's room. Some nice white curtains to go with that purple. 
new paint brushes because I just buy a cheap one so I can throw them out when I'm done. Roller covers and another paint tray kit. I'll just shove that in the cupboard. Um, that's going to be a shelf that goes across the top of the window and yeah I'll just paint that white. So on Monday next week I have to go back to Griffith again. As long as we're taking the ute I've got quite a bit more scrap to go. Um, that engine there, it's a Briggs and Stratton 8 horsepower, it is absolutely fucked and it's missing a lot of stuff now so cash that one in. And there's just quite a few mower bases that aren't up to scratch. I um, only really keep the best now and use the rest as spare parts but yeah so probably cash in. Not many out of this lot, they are in pretty darn good condition apart from like, things like this big to here. It's a bit faded and I'll just put that engine on a good one. Say like this one here but it's got a wrecked motor on it. But um, like this Victor here, it's in very good original condition, it goes alright. Just needs a couple of O-rings here and there to make it run a bit smoother. So I'll leave that be, I'll sell that complete. When you come along to shit like this Rover here, it's got a Tecumseh on it. Um, it's really only good for parts, the engine's got a rod knock, the deck's starting to rust out down here. So pull the wheels off it, pull parts off the engine and just send it in a scrap. These talon mowers can just go straight in the fucking scrap pile as far as I'm concerned. But there's metal on the sides of the road to be had everywhere for free so I don't know why more people don't just collect it up when they've got room for it and cashed in. That's how I pay for a lot of my shit. Someone sent me the other day, why don't you just go and buy decent stuff straight off the bat and not worry about half the junk? Well, I'm only on a fairly low income. I work full time in a supermarket. But, you know, I live better than most of the people that work there. I've got a lot more excess pay than anyone else that works here. Because they usually come around here to party, not... We don't go anywhere else because a lot of them don't really have the time or the money to spare to... Because they're busy working other jobs. But if you're generally a cheapskate, don't buy them just a dollar item straight off the bat. If you wait long enough, for argument's sake, if you're looking for halfway as decent TV or whatever, if you wait long enough, hit the garage sales, be patient about it, don't buy the first thing you see, you'll get what you want at the price you pay for it. Like, I want a VT Commodore, but I've looked at a few that they didn't work out. But if I wait long enough, I'll have one delivered basically to me at the price I want. It's all about the patience. Also found out my radio just here today, I asked at the scrapyard when I was over there. I didn't have the room to take them with me. Um, they're worth about a dollar a kilo, so definitely taking those in with the next lot. That one there is about 20 kilos by itself, it's very bloody heavy. The rest, oh, they might be 10, they're only small ones, so... Yeah, that'll be a good little cash um, card when I go over there next. So lastly, yeah, um, that's the mob that I go through to cash in my crap. Um, they've always been helpful. Um, I'm not sure who it's run by, but yeah, they don't ever question anything I've taken in, so that's all good. Um, obviously they'd question if you took in a whole roll of bloody power line or something, I guess, but no, they seem to be good people there, so I haven't got a problem with them. But I'll tell you now, out in their yard, as I drive in, it would be, for someone that's into computers like I was, it'd be a wet fucking dream, like, there was two pallet sized crates that'd be about two metres high, just overflowing with fairly recent Pentium 4s, dual core Dells, it was just overflowing, I didn't ask how much it was because I've got nowhere to work on them anymore, but I dare say if you offered the right money they'd sell them to you at dirt cheap prices, but you know, a bit above what they paid, maybe double their money back, but it was just full, and they don't buy monitors, so this, these crates were just chockers with the cases, right, they were complete computers, so maybe one day I'll ask if they sell them again, but 
I somewhat doubt it. I think they're the type of people that just buy the stuff and ship it off to elsewhere. I don't think they actually um, sell scrap as well as buy it. But, you know, if you've got they're all over New South Wales, if you've got one near you, I, I recommend them because they've been helpful to me. Alright, thanks for watching.